What's up everybody, I'm Nimbaz, welcome back to another part of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword walkthrough. I'm your host, Silver Slate, and in the last episode we saved this poor little Goron here, which got ambushed by some... Orcs, I guess? Also, we found that... scary little chomper, which was in our nightmare and stuff. But yeah, like, enough about the past, let's just go on to the actual episode. I spotted this cave, and I was looking around here, so I'm going to explore this one first. And there's a log here. This seems familiar. Like, isn't this where we... This is where we landed. So I guess this is like a quick route back. Well, that's fine. So at least we can get back there really quickly in case we need to. But we don't. Because we are not people who go back. We go forward. Because forward is the way to go, isn't it? Okay, now there is an actual bug here, but I don't think I can get that one yet. I don't have the proper equipment for it. So, I am just gonna go on with my actual adventure. And I can see that the beacon is actually there, which I placed. So. Can I make that? Nope. Nope, I cannot. I have to push this. I was hoping I could, but yeah, on the other hand, why is the lock there? I can actually move it up there. That's better. Oh, let's get up here. And ignore our little beacon since we know where we're going. Or at least, it seems so. We are going into Faron Woods. Really reminds me of Twilight Princess, unless I am mistaken. Master, you've entered Faron Woods. Okay, that's great to know. This place. Look at that. It's like an enormous tree there. We're in the Faron Woods. The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. That makes sense. So we are like, coloring the next part, which is parent woods. And we're zooming in even further. There we are. Okay. Let's just go on with our adventure. Looking at the probabilities, it's extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. Okay, that's great. I recommend you continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. Alright. Let's just explore some stuff here. Now, these trees. Oh, wow, I can actually chop down trees here? Really? Like... Are you serious? I can? Okay, let's take a quick dash, and let's go there. That's good. Wow, I am so not... Nature friendly and just chopping down trees like here. Like, okay, come on. And there we go. Like, there are more of these orcs, whatever they are. And like, bullying someone. Oh no. That is sad. That is really sad, okay? Now, let's see if I can take care of these. These ugh, enemies defend really nicely. Okay, come on. Maybe the other one is off guard. Yep, he's off guard, so he's coming down. And this one is also That is a lot better. Let's talk to this little fella here. What is it actually? It reminded me of a penguin whenever I saw this one for the first time. Huh? It's gone quiet. Great crew! And there's a green one! I didn't even know they came in green. What? Don't hurt me, queen! He's gonna run off. Okay. I think I'm an enemy. That's not nice. Master, I picked up a highly interesting spike in Dumbs and Greenish from the creature you just encountered. Is this about Zelda? The probability of this life from being Zelda is 5%. Oh my god. So I must conclude that this is in fact not Zelda. But a peaceful forest creature known as a Kikwe. Well, I figured that one out that it's not Zelda, but yeah. That's not really why I asked that. Kikwis are highly intelligent beings capable of speech. Yes, but for your observation, clearly not Zelda. <laughs> it is unclear why such a creature would elicit a dousing response attuned to Zelda. You just follow the creature and investigate this phenomenon. Why did she even take that question seriously? Did she really just say, like, um, you are wondering if it's Zelda, but it's not? Like, I figured that one out like ages ago. <laughs> But yeah, like, it's really funny that Fee is making fun of me. Or Fee, I should say. Sorry. It's not Fee. And the little fellow is down there. 
He's really scared. He sees me, he's like, oh no! And he's off. I guess we gotta chase him. Okay, let me get my sword out and see what's actually here. Oh, those are more of those creatures. Oh, yeah, I should pay attention to those monsters. <laughs> Instead of assuming they won't attack me, because of course they will. There are two of them there. Okay, um... That's one. And... There's the other. As long as you attack those really quickly, you should be safe. Where is this little monster? Or actually, this little fella, I should say. Where is it hiding? Oh look, it's behind there, is it? Yeah, it's really behind here. I guess I gotta run around and give him a slash? Yep, that's what I gotta do. We're basically trying to make him a friend, but instead we're slashing him and making him even more scared. Nintendo, you are not really doing a nice job here to those animals, so like... Oh, I'm scared again. Or do I just have to, like, slash the mushroom? That could also make some sense, I guess. Um... Uh, where is he now? Oh, he's there. He's still pretty, you know? Now I can talk to him. Let's see. It's part of me again! Queen! Is he trying to imitate a plant? Huh? You don't want to eat me? Quee! You got to think of it. Why do you fight all those red monsters? All because I'm a hero? Keep bleep! I'm Machi. I'm Kikui. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. You're welcome. That's weird, Kiku. A little while ago I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. Would that be Zelda? What's a Zelda? <laughs> It's the sort of the title of this game. I don't know who this girl was, Kukui, but she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. A pack of those mean red guys were after her. Kukui, but she escaped with the Kikui Elder. Interesting. Now he sees Fiend, he's scared again. Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. This information indicates that she was a silver monster, but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. I have marked the position of the kick we know as Machi. Please confirm your current location. Yeah, that's kind of what I did. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this kick we most likely produces a false positive dowsing reaction due to previous direct contact with Zelda. Direct contact with Zelda? Keep your hands off that girl. Using this hypothesis I theorized, there is an 85% chance that the kick we elder will also generate a dowsing reaction, for the same reason. I propose you continue dowsing to search for Zelda. V, you use really complicated words. You really spooked me free. You give me a very strange company, friends. Keep late! It sounds like you're set on finding this friend in the Elder. If you're heading that way anyway, we. Would you mind telling our Elder that I'm safe? Cheer up, Kuweep. I bet your friend is safe with our Elder. I certainly hope so. So let me push this log off so in case I want a shortcut once, I can just do that. And there is something here. A ember relic. Or an ember relic, I should say. These amber colored chunks of fresh stone are found everywhere. No one knows where the strange shape comes from. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Let's just um, go back. Uh, I am gonna go here and see what's here. Okay, let me just avoid this one. What is this? Can I throw this down? Uh. Okay, so that works. That was not really the plan, but it works. Oh, this place is beautiful. Look at this. Oh, that's as less beautiful. Sadly, it's one of those red guys. Okay, that's just stupid. Never drop your dragon. Oh boy. Oh god, okay. that, that doesn't work. Do I have to slash this back? Yeah, I gotta slash this back. I thought it used to repel, you know, since you know how Ocarina of Time works. Okay. I want you to drop your card, please, so I can... Yep, thank you! Bye! You should never drop your guard if it's not even clear right now. And that was a nice aura, anything from that, if you haven't seen that one yet. So I'm gonna push these logs down too, so that I have another shortcut. I wanna go up here, and another one of those amber relics. Nice. 
Oh, yeah. This is still out. Well, they're only three, so like, ah, I'll take care of this. Uh, oh. I gotta take one of these guys up first. There we go, that's better. Is this somebody here, I guess? Examine. The door is sealed shut. Okay, that's not gonna work for now. The point is obvious. That was not really what I wanted. I was more like... Um, oh, that's better. Yeah, like, these controls are a little new to me still. Ow. Let's do that again. There we go. Let's go. Uh, come on. Is there anything falling out of these trees? Well, at least I got five rupees. And one of these. Uh, a lot of monsters here, actually, I must say. Okay, come on. I gotta slice it horizontally. There we go, that's a lot better. Man. Oh no. Well, that was kind of stupid. It's let me walk back really quickly. Because I believe I have to, like, um, take the rope and swing to the other side if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Or at least, I hope so. Oh, yeah, gross, get out of my way. Yeah. Uh, oh, I can take a sit seat again. <laughs> I, really know that, I really do not understand why you can take a seat in this game. Is there, like, some sort of logic combined to it? Oh, I can get those beetles. You got one Woodland Rhino beetle. Collectors often punish the heart carapaces of these beetles to make them tougher. It's the strongest of all the insects. Yay, I got another collectible. That's nice. So apparently I can collect insects as long as I'm doing it right. Which makes sense. Okay, now let's see what's this. Does it say anything? Drop down. No. Do I just slash this? Oh. Yeah, that kind of works. Okay, run. Okay, that does not work. Hmm. Let me retry that. Yeah. And oh, I see. Actually, I just noticed that the bar at the top left between my um, rupees and my hearts has actually dropped, so that's probably the durability of my shield. Or so it seems. Okay, let's do that once more and see if I can do it right. Come on. And... Yes. And... There we go. What is that? Is that the Elder? Whoa! Oh, wow! Yeah. <laughs> He's pretty big for an elder compared to the other one, isn't he? Quihi, I am Pucha, the Kikwi Elder. I saw the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage. Kui, you're clearly a master woodsman. Where's Zelda? Zelda? Ah, oh, the girl creature with the blonde hair, she looked like one of your kind. Yeah, she was with me, Kui. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters, I'm worried about my missing tribe. Whee, the Shaka Warriors made my memories and girl quite hazy. What? You say you've met some of my people? Kui? Kui, so much you say, eh? Uh, but the monsters, they're still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave the spot. Three Kikris are still unaccounted for. Yep, this is kind of familiar. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure they're safe? Okay, I'm worried sick for my fellow Kikwis. If you could call my fears, I might be able to remember more about where the girl you seek went off to. Kui. <laughs> Learning that Zelda is no longer with Kikwi all is an unfortunate setback. But he may still have useful information. Taking this into account, I calculate an 85% probability that your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikwis for the Elder. Why is she talking in percentages? That doesn't make sense. To expedite your search for these forest dwelling creatures, I have added Kikwis as a dowsing option. Okay. Interesting. Do you need me to explain how to switch down to targets? No, I'll figure that out. Additionally, I will mark any cookies you discover on your map and disable dowsing readings for them. That way you not revisit the same cookies. Well, that's nice. Thank you. This concludes my explanation. When ready, please begin your search for the missing cookies. I will definitely do that in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. We are going to help out this elder and find three missing cookies. What does this elder have done that he grew so big? Like, damn, compared to the other one. Ah, uh, it is no matter. We'll find out, I hope, in the next episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Until then, this was Silver Sleet, signing out.